inviting me to come. Uh, my name is Denise Engel. I'm a lifelong Republican. I've been working in campaigns since I was about this high at my mom's skirt, uh, way back when, including Muskogee and a lot of other places in the area. But uh, I now live on the west side of uh, Oklahoma County area. Well, actually, Canadian County, the next county over. But I want to let you know a little bit about me so you'll understand why I'm here uh, representing Mr. Doak. And I am a volunteer, purely a volunteer. I don't have access to everything he has. I don't know everything he knows, but I know the man. And uh, I'm so an insurance professional. I'm sorry, what? Kill the Please don't kill the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> well, first thing, he apologizes. He did have to be across the state, and it was a timing thing and just couldn't... Uh, make it back, and, but I appreciate uh, you being very gracious to allow me to come. For a Tuesday night on a hot summer day, this is pretty good for Republicans. I understand they used to spray for y'all down here once upon a time, so <laughs> y'all are great folks, man. You're doing great. Well, just a little background on me. Uh, I've been in the insurance industry for 21 years. I was in commercial risk management, and I've got a whole bunch of letters behind my name, including charter property, casualty underwriter, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but I wanted to let you know something. John Doak is my pick for insurance commissioner, and there's a reason for it. He's a family man. He's a conservative, fiscal conservative. He's pro-life. He has a wonderful pro-life story about his father. If you go onto his website, votefordoak.com, you're going to find YouTubes, you're going to find information about his campaign, what he's been doing, information about him as a person, and he's got over 20 years experience. He worked for two large insurance brokerage houses, Aon and Marsh USA, uh, on the commercial side, most people are familiar with that, but he's also been an agent that's been across the dinner table to the across the boardroom table. Uh, he was last, he gave up his uh, state farm agency to run this campaign. He started three months before the filing date on this. He didn't just wake up one night. He made a huge sacrifice with his family. He's got a family to support. He's not retired like some other of the candidates. So he actually had to make a huge sacrifice to say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to not only pledge my life, but my financial uh, well-being to run for this office to make a difference. Now, part of the things that uh, you want to know about as far as leadership experience, he's the led the way in opposition to Obama Health Care. Now, it is true, the insurance commission has to follow the law. But something you would really probably hadn't thought about is the insurance commissioner's office in Oklahoma will regulate how Obama Health Care is distributed how it applies to you. And he's led the way, first of all, with the lawsuit saying it doesn't seem to be in line with the Constitution of the lines. So that's the first thing, oppose it on that level. The second thing is, if it's enacted, then you have to follow the law. That's just basic stuff. When Time Magazine interviewed him, that's what he said. You gotta follow the law. But there's always an opportunity, if you're in a position to administrate something, to look at it from the perspective of the Constitution versus the perspective of socialism and handouts. And our current commissioner is a Democrat who was appointed originally by Henry, and she is a handout Democrat, give me more, <coughs> give me more, give me more at our dime. And we have to take her out. Mr. Doak has the leadership to do that. He can take it all the way to November and win it. He's got the financial support. He's got endorsements. Senator Don Nichols has endorsed him. Dana Murphy has endorsed him. The Oklahoma Conservative PAC has endorsed him. He's received endorsements from a number of the Republican legislature. He's ready to run. He's ready to win. Other leadership issues. I'm going to pass this around. He has an initiative petition against the 1% health care claim tax that the legislature passed at the end of the session. Did y'all know that your health care claims are going to be taxed at 1%? Our current insurance commissioner was pushing for 4%. She was pushing a committee 
Give us 4%. Give us more money because we can hit, we can take it from here, the ones that have it, and give it to the ones that don't. Now, all of a sudden, after, after John Doe provided the leadership to go out and put a petition together, put it on his website, pass it around the state, oh, I know, I'm not for that. We can't do that. So all of a sudden, she's trying to backtrack. We've got her on our heels. We need to take her out. But we're going to need your vote August 24th on that. I'd appreciate it. We'll pass this around afterward. I appreciate uh, you signing up on that. The other thing.